Today we're going to talk about Terrainscapes 2, which is an expanded library of assets and tool sets that enable you as a Blender user to create stunning landscapes and backdrop scenes in no time. The add-on allows you to work with the asset browser and comes packed with a couple of shader nodes that allow you to adjust the look of your terrains like the ability to adjust textures, vegetation, rocks, snow, and so on. One of the add-on's strength is the ease of use and even offers a free limited version for people who want to try the add-on first. What Terrainscapes is trying to provide here, besides the high quality terrains, is a fast render time and even faster viewport feedback because we all know that large landscapes can cause a laggy viewport really fast. Working in real time with the shader editor can save you a lot of time. And where this add-on actually shines is the animation of scenes because the terrain looks as great, but it renders in a fraction of the time. Terrainscapes is divided into different packages which are mountain, procedural sky, and water. The add-on can be installed like any other add-on. The only difference is, you have to add the Terrainscape's mountains, sky and water to Blender's asset library file paths and this way you can access the assets from the assets browser panels. Once in the assets browser, you can select one of the categories from the drop down menu. Mountains are divided into three subcategories, which are mountain, mountain ranges and mountain transitions. The sky has four types of procedural skies, which are midday, morning, night and sunset. And finally, the water assets, which allow you to create fully animated procedural bodies of water such as a lake. The way you use these assets is by dragging and dropping any of them to your scene. You can further adjust the asset parameters and customize their look through the Terrainscapes add-on window on the end panel of your 3D viewport. The window itself is also divided into mountains, procedural sky, and water. And depending on the section you pick, you will find the corresponding settings. For example, in the mountain section, you can get access to the intensity of the normal map, a section or vegetation settings like overgrowth, wetness, season, and dirt. You can also control the sun reflection intensity, position, saturation, in addition to a section for controlling snow buildup for those winter scenes, and you can even control the snow level, thickness, procedural noise, and control the fall-off transition to the ground, and much more. The snow here realistically follows the features of the terrain. The last section is the rock section, and here you can control the rock types, colors, contrast, hue, saturation, intensity, and so on. You can also control the scale, bump type, intensity, wetness, and specularity. The procedural sky section also has an extensive amount of customization as you can control the atmosphere, clouds, sun, and even night stars. If you want to preview the sky in the viewport, you can switch to Eevee and you can adjust the overcast, size, roughness, and storm, which can be all animated. There is also a section for controlling the shading, and needless to say, there are a lot of settings and customization to be able to control exactly what type of procedural sky you need. This, aside from the 35 skies presets, already shipped with the add-on. Last but not least, the water assets can be dragged and dropped inside the scene. It offers realistic caustics, volume, and waves. And similar to the mountain and sky, you can control the water effect through the add-ons window. For example, you can adjust the geometry of the water and the displacement type, as well as the shading like the scale of the water, animation speed, waves, caustics, particles, and so on. Terrainscapes comes with 54 terrain assets types, with each one containing a 4K height, vegetation, rock, and normal maps. All the assets are highly customizable and highly detailed, and you can also adjust the parameters through the shader editor. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.